Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. And I've been busy. It's, uh, it's a little bit busy. I've been trying to train up Eris in her limit break, also Barrett. They've been a little bit behind, considering how long I've had them for. Of course, that inadvertently caused Cloud to get his next limit break, but, uh... I mean, I might as well switch it to him, I guess. Oh, because he's got Max right now. He can, uh... Wait, I already switched to level 3. Okay, never mind. I'm way ahead of myself. So, Barrett has the limit break Hammer Blow, which has the effect of, um... The potential effect of ejecting an enemy, enemy from the battle. So it instantly kills them. Kind of great. I don't know if you get experience for the... I think you do. I think you get the experience for killing them. And Eris has two new limit breaks. This one is more or less useless. Cures all status elements of all allies. This is so situational that bleh. And this one, it raises the other two characters' limit gauge, which is kind of crazy when you have two attackers in your party. So that's awesome. I actually really like that one. And Eris should just be on Fury all the time for that. I don't know why Barrett's on Fury. That just kind of happened. But okay. This is a very important douse. Sort of. Ish. Maybe. Ah, another customer. You sure picked an out-of-the-way place, but... But if it's about the keystone you're looking for, you're too late. I don't have it. Keystone? What? You didn't come here for that? The keystone is a key that unlocks the gate to a very old temple somewhere. Head, you're not going to believe your ears, but I hear it was the Temple of the Ancients. Temple of the Ancients? <laughs> don't take it seriously, it's just a legend. So that's interesting because I'm about to go to the Temple of the Ancients. Hopefully I don't need to come back here. Because it was a bitch to get back here, I gotta say. But, uh, if I talk to him again... Let's change the subject. All the weapons you see here I made myself. But lately I haven't been able to get any more materials. You wouldn't happen to have any mithril on you, would you? I'll trade it for something good if you can spare some. And if you remember, there is that weird guy in that cave. And he gave me mithrils because he said it was fate and I had won a certain amount of battles. Now the, the small box is up here. This is the one you want. It's in a safe. Open. There we go. Great Gospel. This is the abil this is the item that gives Eris her final limit break. Of course, I won't be able to get it for a while because she's a little bit far from getting it, but that's why I had to level up. She was still on level 1 for God's sakes. Now, if I can just take care of Tifa, everyone will be at level 2. Also, Sid, but he was just in my party. He has an excuse for not being the right level. Also, Kate Sith, because he's dumb, and I don't use him. But I'll probably use him in the future. Let me see, where is this temple? Hmm. Now that you mentioned I've heard of something called Ultimate Destruction Magic, it's supposed to be hidden somewhere in the Temple of the Ancients. Ultimate Destruction Magic? Come on, like I said, don't take it seriously. Yeah, well, we don't want Sethroth getting ultimate destruction magic. I mean, he already threw a destruction materia at me before. It's probably a clue. And what about this keystone? I sold it already. No, oh, well, to tell the truth, I didn't really sell it, but... The guy had a way about him that made you feel that it may not be a good idea to not sell it to him. Who did you sell it to? The manager of the Golden Saucer. I think his name was Dio. Said he was going to put it in his museum. Then he took off out of here. Okay, now this is the big box. Inside there is a gold armlet, which you can freely buy at this point, so don't get that. Um, okay, I think I was supposed to come here. I was just coming here to get Eris's limit item before I went to the temple. But now I'm thinking I need to come here, and then I need to go to the Gold Saucer. So, in a somewhat uncustomary move, I think I'm gonna move backwards in time to my previous save state and see what happens when you enter the Temple of the Ancient before talking to him. Because if I do have to come out here, I don't want to walk all the way back here. It takes me like 15 minutes to get over here with the random encounters and whatnot. Alright, let's see if I can even enter this place. Huh, this isn't quite what I expected. I gotta say. Welcome to Bone Village. A town for nature lovers. What do you want? Have you seen Setheroth? Oh, the man in the black cape. He was looking for the Temple of the Ancients. Temple of the Ancients? 
It's way down south. It's on the other side of town, in an inland sea. Uh, that's not what that said. It's a pyramid rising out of the forest. How do you get in? You need the keystone. What's the keystone? Just like it sounds. It's a rock that's a key. I heard some rich guy has it. Okay, so I should have just... Probably should have just taken the plunge and at least checked this place. Um, hmm. I don't... There's not too much I can do here. Because I'm going to reload my other save now. You know? Other save. It's the other... Whoa. Whoa. Where is this? Oh. Alright, I really don't want to screw around with this. Let me go back, see if I can get the key from Duo, and then I'll come back to Bone Village. I'm just skipping all around the timeline, aren't I? Ugh. Ugh. I'm probably gonna have to buy another ticket, aren't I? This is the most discombobulated episode ever. Wait, am I seriously at the desert? Am I seriously at the desert? I can't just... I can't just go into the Golden Saucer. Like, just, how did I get there the first time? I... Wait a minute. What if I... You know, that... Alright, I think I know. You go to, uh, Barrett's old town. You know, the one where they're like, Oh, you guys screwed us! How dare you! And then there's a gondola. That's how I got there the first time. Let's try that again. I can jam... Alright, or you can just attack... What the hell are these? Uh... What is happening? Oh crap, they just cast death on me? Are you kidding? Oh good, I missed. <laughs> well, you're not gonna do it too, are you? Oh dear. You're just picking on arrows. Alright, hard! Good job healing me, idiots! Let's see, I doubt I can ma manipulate these guys. Nope! Alright, let's just drop meteors on them then. I think that- oh, for God's sakes, why did I hesitate? Oh no! A spade! A mighty 80 damage! Eris will never live this down. Meteor run! Oh God. You shouldn't have that this early, Cloud. You're a cheater, by the way. Barret may have a grenade launcher attached to his hand. It's, it's possible that that's what's happening. Um, wow. Alright, well... Yeah. <laughs> it seems like an extremely powerful attack. Yeah. Let's just move on through here. Golden Saucer. Supposedly, what's his face against the keystone? I will stone it. Rope right takes you to the gun fashion. That's what he said, right? I read that right? Was my voice acting wrong? Pretty sure my pronunciation of all those words was correct. Okay. I think the Golden Saucer might be open for business now, too. I might actually be able to do things there. But do I want to? It's a place where you actually need to pay, uh, GP to get in. <laughs> like, just to use the save point. How much money do I have? I have a decent amount of money. I might buy a lifetime pass if I can afford it. Three together, single pass. Oh, that is really expensive. Screw it, I don't mind paying each time. That's not a lot of money. But, uh, the other one is. Once I become really rich, then, you know. Then we'll do it. Maybe I can plop a save down? Alright, we got- Shut up! Shut up, I've been here before! I'm sorry, I know you just work here and you're just doing your job and you're getting probably minimum wage, but... For God's sakes. Uh, I have the GP. Hey there, Birdo. You have the worst job ever. Uh, even worse than greeter ladies. Now, where would Duo hide out? Probably not here. Wait, this is where I met him the first time. Oh, well, it's freaking Johnny. First, I gotta memorize which order it comes out, and then I guess the number of the attacks. What? I think that's Johnny. It might just be someone who looks like him. I don't actually know. I have to be careful of these steps. What? A lot of things. I don't know what you're talking about, but I think you might be insane, sir. Good day. Who is the battle? Is the battle arena actually open? Wait a minute. 
I might be able to do some battling. Yeah, I'm here for some battling! I like fights, but I hate the ones who are all dog. Oh my god. Well, let me just see what I can do. I know we're trying to stop Sephiroth from doing something terrible, but, uh... I gotta get my fights in. So you're new here, aren't you? You wanna explain them? No, screw off. <laughs> I'm being incredibly rude to everyone. So battle points are different. Let me see. Thank you very much. Please remember your battle points become invalid once you leave the battle arena. Okay. Can I get Tootsie Rolls? Yeah, whatever. There's a place, um... There's a skating rink I used to go to when I was younger. And they had those little crappy games when you get tickets. But the only thing I would buy with them were Tootsie Rolls. Everything else was too expensive. Or they'd... I bought one of those Paddle Ball ones. No. Oh. Wait a minute. Dine. Yeah, he was just recounting, um... <laughs> two staff members were killed by Dine. I don't think, uh... Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I just got a specific scene because I brought, uh... I brought Barrett there. Register? It is... 10 GP. Okay, let's do it. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle. Who would you like to participate? Are you kidding me? You can fight up to eight battles, but the more battles you fight, the greater your handicap and the stronger the monsters will become. Well, I guess I'll enjoy a few battles. Let's see how this works. Come at me! Whoa, Battle Square, I got some type of weird achievement. Oh crap, not these guys. Also, I'm injured. Maybe I should have been paying attention. Uh-oh. This isn't fair, these guys cast instant death! Uh, diamond. Uh, right. It's really not fair to attack me with people who goes into the death, though. I'm just saying. Oh, god. Good. Took him out. I should probably heal myself. Because I don't think I'm healed between battles. Also, there's, like, special battle music, so that's kind of cool. Also, I have this nervous habit to hit shoulder buttons in games, so the targeting thing keeps on appearing. What? Uh, what? Uh. Alright, as long as it's not the Joker, I think we're fine. Yeah, two hits will do it. Second hit. Mm -hmm. Go! Ha <laughs> ha! Critical hit! Very nice. Great! Keep going? Yeah! What is this? Poison. Oh, crap. Oh, I see. So now I'm poisoned. That's just wonderful. Uh, I don't think I have any all attacks, either. Wait. So if you keep the statuses in between battles, I should just be able to haste myself once, and then I'll just be hasted. That'll work. Nah, you guys don't scare me yet. Oh! Ha! I gotta say, this works a little bit different than I thought it would. I thought I'd be able to have, like... thought I'd have my party with me, but I guess not. Uh, they're using Thunder. Let's try Ice. They're actually doing damage to me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, I need... I I'm not properly equipped for this. If I had the, the uh, enemy skill materia, that would be good. If I had, um... What do you call it? Just all- just all attacks. The only all attack I have is on my haste. Like, I could have killed them all in one hit. Alright, so now I want to... Antidote myself. Where is it? Where- oh. These items are not in order. Cured! Well, cured of poison. Let's cure myself of everything. See? You see that? Nervous habit. Target appears. Okay, now I'm okay for destroying you! Put! Put him up! Put him up! Alright, let's keep going. Uh, oh, jeez. One half MP. What is that? Well, great, now I'm poisoned again. Oh, wait, it didn't poison me. Alright, I guess there's only a chance that that poisons you. That being said, that- oh, crap. 
Seed bullet? That's... No, never mind. I thought that might have been a skill I could learn, but I don't have the enemy materia anyway. This guy's concerning me. He keeps on getting big. Oh, crap. I don't like any of this. That better not put me to sleep. It put me to sleep! What the hell am I gonna do now? Hopefully he'll hit me with a physical attack. That could be fi Oh! Well... I'm screwed. <laughs> I... I was not expecting this. That's a percentile based attack. I need to... I need to win right now. I need to win. I need to wake up. WAKE UP! WAKE UP, DUMMY! He can't kill me with that. Actually, he might be able to kill me now. Oh! Get him! Get him! Smite him with holy fire! If this doesn't kill him, I'm done for. Whew! Um... No, I'm good. Th thank you very much. I think, uh... I think that's enough battling for today. Uh, Constellation Prize received tissue. What the hell is that? Um... Hmm... I'll have to try that out sometime, because I sure as hell don't know what that is. Uh, and also, I keep on sending these to... to field. I should really set these to, um... to battle, shouldn't I? Yeah. Then I think my antidotes and stuff will be lined up. I don't know, though. Anyway, that was dangerous as hell. <coughs> what can I use my battle points for? Give me some Tootsie Rolls. Yes. Oh, I can't afford anything! Where's my Tootsie Roll equivalent? None of this stuff looks really worth it anyway. Let me see here. Enemy lore? That, I think, increases... random battle rate. So if you want to level up, you equip that, you can level up a lot quicker. This? You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna buy Phoenix down for 100 of these. Screw up. Birdwing? I have no idea. Oh. Oh, oh god. Oh my, oh my god! Omni Slash. That is Cloud's ultimate limit. So this is how you get his ultimate limit. Oh, wow. It's also, um... Here's my problem with Omni Slash. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I don't, I don't care about the battle points. If they, uh... If they go away, that's fine. Um... <clears throat> let me just see if they really did go away. Omni Slash is so incredible. Yeah, that's terrible. Why do they do it like that? That's dumb. Um... Omni Slash is so incredibly powerful, it can kill the final boss in one hit. <laughs> like, I don't... I want to show it, but I'm probably not going to get it this LP because it's, it's just stupidly powerful. I'll show it afterwards, maybe when I show some of the extra stuff, like the endgame stuff, but... Yeah, I, I just I just can't. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> I just can't, man. Is there still not a show going on here? Also, I guess that guy wasn't Johnny, because that guy looks exactly like Johnny also. Johnny is just a normal NPC with a crazy name. Not today. Alright. So there's still no event. When does an event happen? I want to see something epic like the opera scene from Final Fantasy VI. That thing was great. It was a full-on opera. Um... <laughs> Alright, maybe I'm a bit of a dick, but now just so that she doesn't feel left out, I need to talk to your girl also. I need to also talk to your girl. Let me... Oh, I see. Very clever. Put an invisible wall against you, and you can't even talk to her. Look, I thought you had quest information. It's not my fault. You fixing stairs? You fixing... fixing some stairs? Jeez, what a jerk. Why don't you just leave us alone? Are there two people here too? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess there was. Yeah, I guess I guess you just wanna you just wanna be left you wanna left alone? You wanna Alright, okay, fine. <laughs> uh, I do this in real life too. I creep up behind couples and just start staring at them. And when they say yes, I ask them for quest information. They never give it to me. They never give it to me. Here. Actually most of them don't even say yes, they just look nervous and leave. Where am I supposed to... Like, I don't know where Duo is. Or is it Doi? I don't care. Duo sounds better. 
Really? Did, uh. All right, I searched everywhere, and then I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna look it up. And it says it's in the battle arena. <laughs> oh, I hope this isn't something that was, like, really obvious. And I'm gonna have to do something to earn it, too, so... Yeah, it's not here. Damn it. I feel like something has gone horribly wrong. And let- wait. Oh, do a showroom. I didn't even know this was over here. I don't know if I would have found this damn thing <laughs> if I didn't look it up. It's the keystone. Put some pants on, dude. <laughs> Long time no see, boy! Ah, you like that, huh? Can you let me borrow this? Ha <laughs> ha Sorry, but it's not for rent. Hmm. Since you've been good to me in the past, I can let you have it under one condition. One condition? Hee <laughs> hee! Entertain me! What do I gotta do? Hoo boy! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Nothing that difficult. This is a battle arena! Show me your fighting skills! Just you, boy! I'm expecting a good fight! I really should have changed my materia. I thought they were gonna give me some prep timer. I was like, I'm gonna change my materia, and then I'm like, ah, uh, screw it, it doesn't matter. So, according to the FAQ, I don't need to, uh, I don't need to beat all the battles. I just need to fight, so good. But I, I should have the enemy materia, like I'm an idiot. I should have given myself the enemy materia. If anything, that was the one thing I really needed. But what are you gonna do? I think I'm still, uh, relatively beefy. Maybe I should try using that tissue. If I get in trouble, I'll just use the tissue. That'll destroy my enemies, maybe. Probably not. Ugh. You ain't nothing. I mean, hell, I also would have swapped out the, uh... Yeah, it was rugged. I also... Oh, crap. Poisoned. I, I would have uh, had a HP materia instead of the MP materia. But, well, you it doesn't matter. Let's fight Squiddo. As long as I, I don't get some jerk that puts me to sleep again, that'd be nice. Alright, keep rocking it. MP- Wow, I'm getting the exact same thing in those slots. Oh, it is that guy! Crap! Alright. I gotta be ready. Bio, of course. Uh, I moved all my stuff around. Where's my... Oh, God. As I slowly get poisoned. He's gonna put me to sleep and destroy me. Watch. You just watch. Get up. Get up! See the bullet. You ain't got nothing. Yeah, I could, I could use that extra HP. Except that W laser thing is dangerous, because it's a percentile attack, so it'd actually do more damage to me. But it, it seemed like it did like 90% damage or something ridiculous. What if I use this? This is probably only going to do like 600 damage to him and not be worth it, but whatever. <coughs> also, that half MP thing actually half my max MP, isn't it? Half my current MP. Oh, man. Whatever. I'm going to fight till I die. Even if I get into a horrible situation. Oh, sweet. I killed him before he put me to sleep. Alright. Using that was actually a really good idea, it seems. Bloop. What is that? Materia? Oh, summon materia is broken. Great. Well, I'm glad I used it. That was my only chance to use it, apparently. Huh. Yeah. Now, if they break my healing materia, then I'm just... I'm just... It's just over. <laughs> it's just all over at that point. He cast Dark on me. Let me see if I can... I'll heal it, but I'd really like... Damn it. I don't know under what circumstance you only do one damage to him, but I gotta say it's pretty annoying. Yeah, if I knew that I was gonna have to do this, I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have done that battle before. Because <laughs> I'm doing it now. Enough with your sand guns. That's more like it. Alright. He has fire resistance. And is weak against ice really quick. Where's my eye drops? I don't think I've ever used one of these before. Eye drops. 
Cool. And he's just gonna make... Oh, whatever. I'm done healing it then. I'll have to do it later. Ice! Still alive, are you? Ha! You can't make me blind again. Let's do it. What horrible thing are they gonna do to me this time? Poisoned again. I can deal with that. Oh god, it's the Gi tribe. They shouldn't be too hard to kill, right? I don't think they had any, like, really powerful attack. Crap. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Let's see. Uh, uh, there we go. Oh, did someone use freaking sand gun on you? Because they're just missing me. Alright, good. Now I should be able to hit them. Yeah, just keep on scaring me and only- Oh, son of a bitch. How am I supposed to keep on playing now? <laughs> I'm gonna be dead in a minute. Oh my god. That- I really hope that disappears if I beat them. Because if it doesn't, this is just game over. Oh man. Um... <laughs> Screw it! Keep going! I'm a frog? Son of a bitch! Well, he's probably gonna just kill me in one hit. Um... High potion? I'm so screwed. Oh, <laughs> uh, I got- no, I need more healing than that. Screw it, I'm popping an elixir, I don't care if it's a waste. If I even get a chance to. Hut! But death sentence did go away, so I might not be totally screwed. Alright. Maiden's kiss. It's always good to have things to counter every status effect. I know I have a maiden's kiss! Screw off! Do not tell me that I don't have a maiden's kiss. Okay. I just need to deal with the damn poison. Uh, whatever attack. Boy, don't I wish that I had that enemy skill materia. That would have been a good thing to equip. I was even just like, I need to equip this, and then I didn't do it, because lazy. Oh, God. Yeah. Good, he's down. All right. Uh, cure myself, then I'm gonna get rid of that damnable poison. Good. All right. Uh, antidote. I wish all of these were just at the top, for God's sakes. I'm gonna, I might actually rearrange it so they are. Though what are the, there's not a lot of situations where I need to, uh, grab these. Uh, damn it. I really don't want to use that here. I'd rather save my limit for the next battle since I got these guys beat. Yeah, let's just magic them to death. Oh, yeah, it took like five spells to beat him. Let's do it! What is that? Items are sealed! Well, now I'm really screwed. Because once I run out of magic, I'm just out of magic. Harrier, whatever. Just kill them. I don't care. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> that was a decent amount of damage there. Well, whatever. I'm pretty sure this will kill all of them. Threat! Well, no, I'm worried! <laughs> Panic! Everybody panic! Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't kill him. Alright. What I think, I think, um, attacks are actually divided when, you, like, the limit break. I think there's a certain number of attacks, so the more enemies there are, the least less damage it does to every single one of them. Oh god, but yeah, they're doing a lot of damage to me. I need to at least kill him. Alright, good. My days are numbered, and it's all because I picked stupid materia. Alright, and he was he was on his last legs. Screw it! We're, oh my god, look at all those battle points. I don't care! Go for broke! I think you get zero battle points if you lose, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the second to last battle, son of a bitch. I'm screwed! They screwed me. Uh, because I don't have my item command unless it comes back, and I don't think it does. Yeah, it's impossible for me to uh, turn back into a, to a regular person. 
Uh, I don't think I'd be able to beat him anyway, but come on, you guys are dicks. Turning me into a freaking frog. There's no way to reverse that. This guy has like 8,000 HP, I'd have to hit him 80 times before he died like this. And the only option that I have is attack. Even if I got my limit up to max, you can't use your limit as a frog. That would be kind of hilarious if you could. Oh well. Win some, lose some. There go all my beautiful battle points. Ugh. That's the best you can do? <laughs> well, a promise is a promise. Go ahead and take it. Receive the keystone. We shall meet again! <laughs> I hate you. I hate your battle arena. It's cheating. It's a cheating battle arena. It's filled with cheaters and cheat faces. Okay, so here's the deal. I suddenly decided I'm not satisfied with the way that went down. So I went back and I beat all eight battles in the battle arena. And I was rewarded with... Where is it? I put it on Barrett. With a Chocobo Feather, which gives him plus, plus 10 dexterity, And a Protect Vest, which will give someone plus 10 vitality. Now, first of all, I never even mentioned the Eden Code. The Eden Code is something that I got in a battle in one of the other episodes. It's that. It gives you a lot of materia slots, but no all slots. So I gave Cloud that, because all slots don't matter. And then I gave him all of these. <laughs> He's got both HP pluses, so his HP is, like, gargantuanly huge. He's got the enemy skill thing. Anyway, if you want to actually see me do these battles, there's an alternate episode. The annotation should be on the screen right now. There's also a link in the description. In the past, I've been told that um, people on mobile devices can't watch these alternate episodes, but I'm sorry. It's not something that I'm going to release into the main feed. So, but hopefully that's okay. It's only for people who really want to know what happened, because there's not no storyline thing happens. It just shows me beating the battles. And it didn't go quite as smoothly as I would have liked. I did not do it the first try. But goddamn, alright. But now I actually need to, um... Actually, I don't know if I'm going to be using Barris, Barris and Eris after this, so, um... I'm not going to... I'm not going to redistribute the materia right away. Hopefully we won't get to a random encounter. But if we do, Cloud is so incredibly powerful right now, it wouldn't matter. Alright. Let's get out of here. Eh. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, the tram is out of order right now. So? I'm really sorry. I'm afraid you won't be able to leave until it's fully repaired. How did you... What's wrong? Too bad. It happens, though. I know. Let's stay at the hotel. They know me there. I'll go talk to them. I guess he was chilling out with his fortune teller buddies? Who knows? I'll let you know once the repairs are completed. Couldn't we just leave through the desert? That'd be fine, right? Through the desert? Oh, well. <laughs> Who was that sitting in the back there? Oh, that's Sid! Alright, I, I was like, why is Sethiroth sitting in a chair back there? We usually don't get a chance to be together like this, huh? Cloud, how about it? Can you tell me what's happened so far? I don't really know what's been going on because I wasn't here in the beginning. Yeah, I'm for that. Good idea. I've been here since the beginning, and I still don't know what the hell's going on, either. Cloud, what the hell is going on? Come on, tell us. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Whew. We are going after Sethiroth. Sethiroth may be in search of the Promised Land. The Promised Land? A land full of Mako energy. Or at least that's what Shinra believes. I don't know if it actually exists. The Setro will return to the Promised Land. The land that promises boundless happiness. Setra? That's some kind of disease? 
That's what the ancients call themselves. Hey, didn't you listen to the elders in Cosmo Canyon? You don't know where the promised land of the ancients is. You search and travel until you feel it. Then you just know that you found it. Eris, can you feel it too? I think so. So Sethiroth is traveling the world because he's searching for the promised land? Is that it? He's searching for that, and one other thing. The Black Materia. I heard from Duo that a man in a black cape was looking for the Black Materia. I've never heard of Black Materia. How many men with black capes and numbered tattoos are there? You know, of course, my tattoo is number 13. How did you get that tattoo? Hojo put it on me. The rest are just war scars, but the number was done by Hojo. So there are at least 13? You know... I think Hojo did something to those men in black caves, but I don't know what it has to do with Sethiroth, though. That's why I think we should just go after Sethiroth himself. Yeah, me too! It's all just too damn confusing! And... I'm sorry, forget it. I think I'm tired. I'm going to bed now. <laughs> What's with that all of a sudden? What? That's it? I'm going to bed! Is that all? How about the Black Materia? You wouldn't understand even if I told you. Now all we gotta do is take action! We're starting tomorrow! Cloud? I'm number 13. Am I going to go mad, too? I don't know what Hojo did to you, but you've been alright so far, right? But... Be strong. But I... Stop it, Taz! Be strong! Tifa? You're not the only one who's worried! I don't know what's going on, but we're in a bad situation. Hey, Sid. Let's go back to our rooms. <laughs> well, Sid, I don't think absorbed a lot of that story. That's just a feeling I have. <laughs> Whatever, he's an old man. He's like, well, he's only like 40, isn't he? Whatever. <laughs> Maybe he just doesn't have an attention span. <laughs> What's wrong? Let's go on a date. What? A D-A-T-E. Or haven't you ever gone on one? Well, not a real one. No, just a mixed-up kid. Well, come on! Come on, let's go! Hey! Tonight's Enchantment Night! All the attractions are free! How about you two? There's going to be an entertaining show in Event Square. Come on, let's go! Oh, apparently Eris was controlling me because I wasn't moving. Congratulations! Something is happening that we'll have to wait till next time. <laughs> I'm Cross Knights, I'm sorry, but I happen to know the recording's been decently long. I don't know how long because there's a lot of files because I've been doing weird non-chronological things. Um, I actually have a battle in, um, in that Condor place, but I don't feel like it's appropriate to show right here. So, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? Since nothing incredibly important happens in that Condor battle, that's also in the uh, alternate episode. But I can assure you, absolutely nothing important happens. But, 
since I already recorded the footage and edited it, I feel like I need to put it somewhere. And I don't think most people care about those Condor battles anyway. I didn't even get a good reward from it. So I'll see you next time, and uh, check out the alternate episode if you are so inclined. Later.